Hi, it's Lanny. You know, one of my pet peeves is getting advice about how to stay trim and manage food and eating challenges from someone who's never even had a weight problem. As someone who reigned for years as queen of the Christmas cookie dough bowl, I thought I'd pop up a couple of visual reminders about where I have come from on this body shaping journey. Yep, that's me in some earlier incarnations. Somehow I always managed to be first in line for the cake serving job, which allowed me to, of course, siphon off extra pieces and fingerfuls of frosting for myself. The holiday tips that I'm about to share with you are tools that I use to this day to continue my own 50 pound weight loss success. Hi, it's Lanny and I'm here today with your holiday survival guide. I've got 10 tips for you to help you get through the next few weeks of holiday time with the madness around eating and exercise, some specific tips that you can take with you. So let's start with number one. Number one, choose your celebration. Number one is choose your event or feast. That means find the one event coming up through the holidays that you would really like to celebrate and have all of your favorites at. It could be a specific holiday dinner, the eve of the holiday dinner, rather than starting at the beginning and just holding out and taking a little bit of this and a little bit of that all of the way through, which can get you into a lot of trouble. Pick that one holiday celebration and enjoy all of your favorites. You can't gain 10 pounds on one meal. I promise. Number two, stay well fed. Survival tip number two, stay well fed. If you are hungry through the course of the day, it is harder and harder to resist high fat, high sugar foods that are best designed for helping your body manufacture and store body fat. So let yourself eat well from early in the day, stay well fed on good foods, and you will have that temptation problem licked. Number three, eat before you arrive. Holiday survival tip number three is eat before you arrive. Do not go to a celebration, event, party, buffet, whatever it is, with hunger in your belly because guess what? You will be sorely tempted to eat all of the foods that are presented before you. Your judgment will waver and you'll end up making a lot of decisions that you regret. So be well fed each and every day. Number four, what you have is what you'll Tip eat. Tip number four, also related to food and eating, what you have is what you'll eat. What do you have going on in the fridge? What have you got in the pantry? Do you have lots of fresh fruits and vegetables and good whole grains and beans and all of these foods are going to keep you well sated without taking away from your, um, your fitness goals and your health goals? Stay well fed by being prepared what you have is what you'll eat, so have the right thing available. Number five, how to handle food pushers. Holiday fitness tip number five, how to handle food pushers. Now, you know what I mean. You go to a party, you go to an event, they say have a little bit of this, have a little bit of that, and isn't it always true that it's the people that we love that really are, we want to please them, you want to keep them happy, and yet you know there's a compromise here. If you start eating all of these foods, it's going to totally destroy what's going on with your health and fitness goals. Here's a couple of tricks I use. I'll say, oh, I'm just, I'm so full up, I'm totally booked, I couldn't eat another bite, or oh, that looks super, can I take it and have it later? Or another way is to go ahead and take it and then push it around on your plate, but that can be problematic because then it's right in front of you and easier to indulge in. So remember, people really don't care what you're eating. Um, it's easy to just say something light and then distract it and move on to something else. You'll get skilled at it. You are the only person that puts a food in your mouth. Number six, eat a high fiber, slow burn breakfast. Holiday survival guide number six is eat a substantial, slow burning, satisfying and filling breakfast. A couple of my favorites are a steamy bowl of oat groats or whole um, or rolled oats with some flaxseed or some walnuts and a bunch of fruit in stirred up. It's very slow burning carbohydrate. It's got protein in it's got car and it's got some essential fats in it too. Great way to stay well fed. 
troop from the start of the day. And if you're in a hurry, and also if you think it might be a day when it's hard for you to get your greens in, a smoothie or a green um, blended salad is a really great way to go. You can take, there's recipes are on my blog, they're all over the web, that you can put greens and fruit in and create a smoothie and get yourself a high fiber, high nutrition breakfast that will also last you a while. Again, don't let yourself leave the day, leave the door hungry, you'll just get into trouble. Number seven, eat half your food each day in veggies and fruit. Holiday survival guide tip number seven, eat half of your food that you eat every day in the form of vegetables and fruit. So how do you do that? It means that if you, right now, take a look back to yesterday, and if you were to put all of your food on a big tray, would you be able to say that half of your food, half of your tray was filled with vegetables and fruits, or would it be a little teeny tiny part? If you have a big quantity of high fibrous, high water content vegetables and fruits in your diet, along with the other really good high fiber whole foods and um, whole grains and starchy vegetables, then you are going to be well on your way to staying trim this holiday season. Number eight, exercise with vigor every holiday day. Holiday survival tip number eight, exercise with vigor every day. With vigor. And the reason I say that is because when you really get into your body and you really challenge your body to get the heart pounding hard and get your breath going and really make those muscles work, you create a sense of groundedness in your body, a sense of vitality, and you also increase your confidence so for moving forward and making better choices through the rest of the day. Again, with vigor, it doesn't have to be long. You can do this in 15 minutes. You can do it with burst training. You can do it with weight training. You can do it with resistance training. Um, you can do it with in a variety of ways, but make it vigorous and make it intense and make it something that gets you in your body strong and confident. Number nine, reach beyond the cookie tray. Holiday survival guide tip number nine, reach beyond the cookie tray. I'll tell you what, every choice we make every day is either based on pleasure or pain. And somehow that cookie tray and the fudge platter are such, present themselves to us as such sources of pleasure that we forget the pain that is right behind them. I'm going to ask you to reach beyond the tray of goodies to the pleasure that is right beyond by delaying that gratification and enjoying what it feels like to wake up every morning feel, feeling healthy, feeling well digested, feeling trim and fit. Reach beyond that tray to your better, higher choice. Number 10, don't throw in the towel. And finally, survival guide tip number 10, don't throw in the towel. Let's say that you have any one of these other tips. You know they're really great for helping you out, but let's say you fall short, you trip up, something happens, you weren't prepared enough, you ate the wrong thing. Well, don't throw in the towel. The next day, the next hour, the next minute is a chance for a new beginning. You are in charge. You are in control. You can take advantage of being the best that you can at any moment in time. Remember, it's just a mindset shift to get you back on track. Um, the best ways to get back on track, if you've had a uh, you know fall off the wagon and you aren't staying up with your fitness or your dietary goals planned throughout the holidays, is to do some vigorous exercise because as I said earlier, it gets you back in your body, it gets you strong, it gets you confident, it helps you to make better food choices just inherently. So there you have it. There's 10 tips, survival guide for your holidays. Uh, stay connected with support. Get your fridge full of good food and get your exercise in and watch that mindset. Okay? Okay, now it's your turn. What are your ideas and tips and tricks for holiday, not just survival, but thriving through the holidays? What are your ideas that, that have worked for you, some tips and tricks? Go ahead and please share those below in the blog or on the Facebook page, wherever you happen to be seeing this video. I can't wait to hear from you, and I'll see you next time. This is Lynn.